broken traffic pole, shattered glass, and mangled vehicle parts sit in front of a memorial for Marixa Valle Zepeda. West Dallas police say the 18-year-old killed in a crash just after midnight Sunday. This is the worst news that you could wake up to. <laughs> but I'm coming looking for you to tell you your child is gone. Cries from Zepeda's loved ones filled the intersection of 60th and Burnham. My sister's gone. I won't get her back anymore. I have to bury my sister. Police say Zepeda was a passenger in a Pontiac that ran a red light and crashed into a Jeep. Both cars went off the road, hitting a 50-year-old man and a 53-year-old man. The two pedestrians, the driver of the Jeep and the driver of the Pontiac were all sent to the hospital. Zepeda didn't make it. She wanted to finish school. I know she wanted to finish school. That was her first priority. She said, when summer comes around, I'm going to finish school. <laughs> Family and friends say Zepeda was ambitious, funny, and could light up any room. Even when we saw her yesterday, she was just full of life. We were just dancing. We were having a good time. Never did I realize that that would be the last time I saw her. Zepeda's loved ones gathered, trying to make sense of the tragedy. I don't know what to feel. I don't know if I'm angry or not. I just want my sister back. And the driver of that car, her family tells me, was her boyfriend. He's 20 years old, and West Dallas police say he was taken to the hospital and also arrested on suspicion of homicide by intoxicated use of a motor vehicle. Reporting in West Dallas, I'm Kendall Keyes, WISN 12 News.